Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Rick. Welcome back. Now, I know that this house does not look like too much from the outside, what you can see in the frame right now. Trust me, it is. The true gym is on the inside, not the outside. And ain't nobody finding this house at all because, trust me, when you try looking on Google Maps, you're not going to even find it on there. It's just by word of mouth. But um, this place is surrounded by nothing but trees, forests, and everything. You got to walk at least a quarter of a mile to it, and you would not even notice places here. It's got a lot left behind, including, like, cars in his garage and everything like that. Old cars from, like, the 1950s and 60s. You're going to love that. And trust me, even better yet, you're going to love what's on the inside. So without further ado, let's go inside. I honestly have no idea the story of this house. I tried to put the pieces of the puzzle together the best I could, but I didn't find much. I heard rumors of this house being owned by a former town mayor, but that's all I know. I did find a random memo in one of the bedrooms that said, Dear Hazel, by this time, you must be wondering what has happened to me. Neglecting friends is no way to keep them. This has been the worst year. Everything was worrisome, and suddenly, I found it hard to cope. It started with my aunt having a stroke before Christmas, then another in March. It kept her in a comatose condition until she passed on May 7th. There were so many details concerning the estate, and being unable to get around them was frustrating, and we still haven't been able to collect from Mutual of Omaha. My cousin is the administrator, but I was one that handled all the finances and kept records of everything, something I had no experience in. Then I got word my two friends were coming in town for a week in July. One worked at a bank in Albany and wasn't sure she can get off the week as planned. That was all straightened out and the gas situation got critical. G got everything together so they would be able to get back. The night before they were to leave, my friend fell and broke her arm. In the meantime, I had cleaned and polished. So many things left to last minute. We shopped for almost $100 worth of food. A lot of it was perishable, and what to do with it all. Everyone's coming in September, so I can start all over again. At about that time, I hurt my back pushing my new lawnmower, and I was in pain for seven weeks and at the same time, my bowels went crazy. I didn't know if it was related or not and didn't know what kind of doctor to see. To shorten this, I saw an orthopedic surgeon and asked for his internist to work with him at the hospital, where I spent eight days and had every test done in the book. It turns out I have arthritis in my hips and a back brace are all that can be done. And you should see it. I will try to get along with it. Oh, and some disc trouble, too. The internists found pockets in the colon, met of mucil every a.m., also no smoking. So I feel as though I have a second chance at life and will govern my lifestyle accordingly. The whole summer has been really miserable weather-wise, rainy and cold, and all I did was sit and read. That didn't do my back any good, and I must get out and walk even though we have to be in the fields. We have no summer, and it's almost time to think of winter again. The garden didn't do well, which upset me after all the hard work. It was so lonesome here with no one to talk to but the birds and the cat, and no way to get out and around. History Channel. Oh, we got the mummy. Look at that, it's still a wrap. They, even, they, they never even opened this up. My cousin and wife down the road have been in Maine all summer, and I do miss them. The young people have their own lives to live and aren't much comfort, although both live within yards of us. If I didn't have one of the best husbands in the world, it would truly be awful. He lives and breathes for me, and aren't I lucky? Now enough of that. I did laugh at the clippings. G brought them to the hospital and said there was a box waiting there. I do thank you so much, 
and will see they are returned in some manner. You are so sweet to think of me, and it's a great comfort to know I'm loved all this time. I do love you too. G has two weeks off when he chooses to take them, but we can't decide where to go. We both miss the salt water so much and can go to the New Jersey or Mayland shore for a few days. The only trouble with that is that the weather is so unreliable and the misleading forecasts we have had all summer. Every weekend seems to rain. If we made reservations and that happened, we would be sunk. We better stay here and tend to the work that needs doing. In October, he has to get wood for the winter, and plenty of it. Our furnace doesn't burn much, so we are fortunate for that. We have a Franklin stove out here in the sunroom, but it doesn't keep full overnight, and has to be fed throughout the day. Canning time is here too, and that's enough to keep me busy until our company comes later. We did talk of flying to Miami, but that would be almost too much planning, and no doubt the weather would file up just like it did last time. I want to catch this mail, so with that said, I'll say goodbye. I hope by this time you are feeling much better. Nerves do funny things, I know. Thanks again for everything. Much love. The name is Ranger Rick. My mission in this series is to go back to the past, dig it up, search for clues, and stay curious. In each episode, I tell stories of abandoned places and their history. So come with me, let's explore together, and see what we can find. On this episode, I'll be teaming up with Steve Ronan, and I'll link his channel below. Searching for a house in the middle of the woods near nightfall is definitely not for the faint of heart. This forest will give you the feels if you know what I mean. Still, we're being rewarded constantly because we're finding many remnants from the past, including this 1950s Buick Roadmaster. Telling you, when I say ain't nobody finding this house, ain't nobody finding this house. Look at this. I'm I'm walking through the forest right now. That's because what you gotta do. Hope and get beat up while doing it. <sighs> Ticks, fleas, dust mites everywhere. Look at this, covered in stuff. Alright, here's the first car. This is not the best car yet, but it's the first car. What kind of car is that? I have no idea, but it is old, really old. Leave it in the comments. Okay, so I wanna start off this adventure by walking from the back on in. How would it feel as if you were the owner of this house walking in? And that's what we're gonna to see today. So we're gonna start off our little journey right here, right at the back door, because the front door you can't get to, I promise you that, too much overgrowth. And this is one of the first rooms that you see. This looks like almost like a washroom almost. Of 
course there's all my stuff right there so just don't mind that and you walk in here and this is the kitchen this is the kitchen and here are some of the items that you'll find uh, I have no idea how to pronounce that let me see Cipro Flox C I P R O F L O X A C I N, whatever that means. 75 milligrams of that. I'm not too sure what that is. Leave it down in the comment section because I have no idea what I'm looking at. Look at all of this stuff just left behind. Look at that old stove. Comment down in the comment section, but if I had to take a guess, I would say that's from the 19. <sighs> Maybe 40s, maybe 50s. I don't know. But look at this old stove. I'm wondering, does the dials still even work? Maybe. Mm, they still kind of work. Yeah, okay. Look at that. Pepper and spice. And everything nice. This is some of the uh, stuff that they were into. Seasonings and uh, looks like beef eater dry gin. Some seagrams, all that stuff in here. So apparently they might, they might have liked to drink a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. And this is uh, some of the family members. Oh wait, is this? Hold on. No, this is from a TV show. This isn't the family members at all. That's the Beaver. Leave it to Beaver. Weaver, Cle Wally Cleaver, family. No, this is not. No. <laughs> This is somebody else. That's I Love Lucy. No, this is totally wrong. <laughs> Nothing. Whoa. Okay, I take that back. There's shit in the fridge. Hold on. Look at that. Ew. Let's open the freezer. Oh, it's rotted meat with maggots. Look, can you can y'all see that? You look real closely. See those little dots? Those are maggots. <laughs> Whew. A burst of wind just went in my mouth. That's nasty. Give a shout out to the old telephone right on the wall right there. Look at that. Oh, there's a calendar right there. Hold on. Hold on. When was the last date? When was the last date? 2008 was the last date? The hell? No way. This house looks way older than that. This, well, it doesn't, well, it doesn't look way older than that. It is. But it looks like it's been sitting longer than that, for sure. Let's see what else we can find in here. So as you come inside, this is the living room. Wow, and what a living room it is. You can look at these wing-backed armchairs with real wood carving. That's not resin. A good way to tell if it was resin, and if you could actually dig your fingernail into the plastic in the wood framing the board frame which on this you cannot so this is real wood and here's another wing back chair followed by a wing back couch you don't really see those too much anymore you might see them in a couple of furniture stores but not many people buy that style anymore it's just not in the style and here is a Sweet looking piano. Look at this thing. Look at that. It's the first piano I ever came across that was like this. Let's see if this son of a bitch works. It works just fine. Wow. Yeah, works good. I'm impressed. Without this light, Y'all, I mean, you wouldn't be able to see much. I know it, I don't really care for this type of light in here, but that's what it looks like. There's just not enough natural light. So unfortunately, you gotta use a flashlight to walk around in this place because it is covered in trees, no doubt. Look, watch this. Here's the front door, actually. I don't even know how people get in through this way. I went in through the side and Here's a shot at the front porch and all of its glory. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is, this is heaven in here. Could you imagine if they fixed this house up? I don't think they could though. This is definitely a tear me down. It's just too far gone. 
So far, I guess an older couple lived here. A wife, husband, and kids. And it would seem like a normal situation. The couple had kids, raised them until they got older, and moved out. The couple grew older together, but I sensed the husband wasn't always around. For whatever reason, I don't know. Maybe because of work, but who really knows? And I'm gathering by the random notes found around the house that the wife that lived here mostly had the place to herself. She would write her friends that lived in other states saying that she always feels lonely. Even though her children live nearby, they would be busy most of the time with their own families. And her and her husband had an unconditional love for each other very much. This right here, look at this rug. I guarantee you, if you clean this rug up, it will probably be worth somewhere on eBay. I'm not even joking, probably around maybe $8,000. I'm kind of familiar with rugs. And you come in this room, again, we're back in the main living room, taking a look at this rug right here. Again, with the size and being that it's an all wool rug, I'm pretty familiar with rugs. This rug, you clean it up, probably be worth about eight grand on eBay. That piano, I already looked at it on eBay. $25,000 for one in good condition. This one still works. All you got to do is just probably just clean it up and sell it. But, you know, it's going to stay here as a time capsule, so don't get any ideas. Works perfectly fine. All right, let's go check out uh, that room right there. This looked like a kid's room. Again, here we go with the rug. This, this house is a true time capsule. Like, you're never going to see stuff like this ever again. The only problem I have with it is the lighting kind of sucks in here, but we got to make do. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that TV. You're never going to see that ever again. Look. P-R-E-D-I-C-T-A. I have no idea the brand name on that, but if you know what it is, Fill us out in the comments. Look at look at the side. Look at the profile. Look at that. Look at that profile. And here is looks like where you control the knobs and stuff. That's a Philco. I don't even think they make that no more. Look at that. And what's weird is you got these drawings on the wall. Like if actual furniture was in this room, but it's not. It's crazy looking. Got a lamp right there. Whatever that is, looks like a chair. Here's a bookshelf drawn on the wall. What is the point behind this? That's some hard ass wall. Look at that. Followed by a baby carriage. So yeah, this had to be a baby's room at one point. I mean, look at the green phone. This is a true time capsule. This house ain't playing around y'all, look at this. This is what's up. This is like something you would see in France, a true time capsule, but we're not in France right now. We're in America and this is absolutely insane. I'm just kind of breezing on through so you can see what's going on. Thought I'd show you in real time if you were the owner of this house. Instead of me telling you a story, you can kind of figure it out yourself. Look at these glasses. Look at that.
shot from the outside of the house. Nothing special, really. The special stuff is definitely on the inside. So let's continue. Here we are walking back in the house. And look at all this cool furniture. You're never going to see stuff like this ever again. That would be probably the most modern thing in this house. And if I had to take a guess of when that was from, that's probably from 2008. Because that does not match this house whatsoever. We have a little buffet right here. Look at these old Christmas lights. You don't see that no more. Come on. The night the... An Wait, what does that say? The night the anvils talked the forgotten I'm not gonna even try to read that I don't even know what that says what else is in here Betty Davis this is crazy looking can't really open that but there's a old look, look at this old calculator in there oh, can y'all see that And what do we got here? Looks like an old bookcase. Always interesting stuff. Wait, this is not a bookcase. This is a china cabinet, I think. Maybe a curio slash china cabinet. And you can tell this couch has seen better days because if you look here, all the burlap in the back, all the stuffing, it looks like a bird flew in here and tried to make a nest right here because that's what it looks like because I don't think that's part of the sofa I mean at least I don't think it is I don't know but I mean, that's the way they made furniture back in the day I'm not sure hundred and one Dalmatians that's I mean it's an old movie but it's not that old it's like from the 80s I want to say This house is creepy. So much deterioration on the inside. You could tell this place is uh, deteriorating quite rapidly from Mother Nature and time, that's for sure. But uh, I like these little French doors here. You don't see that too much in houses. Looking at the bathroom. Ah, this is one of my favorite features about a bathroom. The window right next to the toilet. Not many houses have a window these days, unless you're in a master, but this is the guest room for sure. Got some shower action. All towel on that. These people even had a rug in the hallway. Not many people do that no more. Back in the main room. Wait, what is this? Now it's just a closet. Back in the main room here, I tell you, somebody killed a peacock or something. Because that's what it looks like. Let's go in this bedroom. This had to be the master. If I had to take a guess. Well, wait a minute. No, this is not the master. Or is it? I don't know. It's always good to make assumptions with this type of stuff, I guess. But we really don't know. Pruning shrub and roses. Somebody must have liked plants. Little baby pictures in here. What else do we have? <laughs> Write it down in the comments. Everybody from the south, you remember AMP? Look at that, the grocery store. <laughs> Look at that. Go 
what we got in here. There's that little girl again. I'm telling you, this I'm telling you, she used to live here. She had to. And if this is from 2008 or earlier, she gotta be a grown up by now for sure. What the hell? And what is this? This looks like an old family photo from. Now that, that looks like from. Yeah, that that looks like it's from the 40s or maybe the 30s actually. You can tell by the border frame around here; it's kind of rigid. Back then, they didn't make regular photo frames like they do now. They kind of made them rigid. Here's some tiles and stuff. Huh? It's a box of them. An assortment. Write it down in the comments. Why do they have tiles here? I have no idea. All right, let's check this out. What do we have in here? Lost in space, giant. Meet me in St. Louis. You ever heard of these movies? Write it down in the comments. We got two copies of Lost in Space. I have no idea why. And it's kind of looking like it in here. The other bathroom. We got some rich, thick lather. Let's see if this still works, actually. After these many years, after like three decades of this house just sitting around, let's see if this stuff works. Oh my god, it still works. <laughs> Look at all these old... Oh my god. Look at this. Some old Stutz and Cologne. Can't go wrong with that. If you want to smell like an old man, it's a good way to do it. This thing doesn't slide. Got some old school aspirin. That actually still smells good. Shaving cream. Wow. And here we are. Uh, now, if okay. This had to be the master. This had to be. Because that is the biggest bed I can find in this house. Probably have to blank that out. Tells you what state it's in. Ain't doing it. Can't give it out. Not on this one. Here's some more stuff. Looks like some more bird feathers in here. What is this? This is definitely the master. Shit. Fuck. Locked in here now. I have no idea who this is. Hmm. What does this read? Oh my god, I'm curious now. I love this football helmet. Look at this. Really cool looking. Old school stuff. That's plastic. The football's plastic. Heading into the next room, here's what we got. We got some records on the ground. Our Arista, A-R-I-S-T-A. -I, -I, I never heard of that band. Uh, I have no idea who that is. Here's a love note. These are always good. Uh, oh, no, this is not a love note. I don't even know what that is. Who's, who's this in a picture? Some girl that lived here. Who, who's this? This had to be the mama. Maybe? I don't know. She looked mean, kind of. I don't know who that is. Now, I'm not going to take the time to read all this stuff because this is quite a bit of information here. But from what I gathered, this is like some kind of homework assignment or something. I think, or maybe some type of journal. Here's the other kid's bed right here. I know, I know I'm kind of going a little fast on this episode, but I'm really pressed for time here and it's getting dark outside and I got a trek through the forest about a good mile so you're kind of going to get what you're going to get on this episode <laughs> but still it's going to be enjoyable I promise I'll talk my way through it and here we go
we have a couple of we have a couple of options here. All right, I think we're almost done here, but we have a couple of options. I'm gonna leave it up to you. Should I go down to the basement, or should I go up top? You pick. All right, we'll go up top first. Let's see what's up here. Let's see if anything's going on up here. Place is spooky as all get out. Any power? Nothing. This place is creepy. This place is creepy, creepy, creepy. Wow, this is just too much. <laughs> I mean, you could be here. Oh, look at this. I remember these type of blinds. I grew up with these in the 80s, actually. But they were like red and orange. Look at this. Oh, by the way, that's from the 70s. All day long 70s. I have no idea what that is. Looks like a clock, maybe. Leave it in the comments. Don't know. It's before my time. Some miscellaneous paint cans laying around. And that's kind of cool. What's that? The little box with the number six on it. I don't know what that is, but let me see. A battery charger. Hmm. Hmm. Not much up here. Oh, that's the front of the house right there. I didn't even know that. I'm afraid to walk in here. I might actually fall through the floor. Oh, we got Christmas decorations. Look at the Christmas lights. Santa Claus right next to it. Yes, indeed. It looks like it's about to storm outside. I might need to get out of here quickly. All right. Well, that's about it for up here in the attic. It's just a bunch of hodgepodge of random stuff. Of course, they had a ruin it with an Amazon box. Look at that. <laughs> These people love packages, that's for sure. They kept them all up here. All right, let's go back downstairs without falling down. Killing ourselves. We don't want to do that now. Oh, shit. Almost did, actually. Ow! Damn. There we go. All right, stay tuned. Gotta save the creepy basement for last, right? Yep. Oh, look. These are like the same beer cans next to the car. Oh, what the hell? You can't even, you can't even go in there. What's down there? Bro. It's just bags of beer. That's it? And I can see raccoon footprints all over. Yeah. There could be raccoons in here. Alright, I'm coming down. Yeah, you literally can't. Not worth it? Nah. You've never been down here. Oh, fuck. oh my Holy god. Holy shit, are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, oh my god. Dude, what the- Holy crap. Fuck. Oh, oh, he caught that on camera? Uh, it shut off. I Holy it. moly. Oh my gosh, bro. Are you okay? I'm fine, but that's what can happen in an abandoned Jeez. village. Jeez. It didn't even look like it was that, like, no, it weak. it looked fine. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It could have been me. All right, we got to watch our step walking back up here. That was not planned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, this is what it looks like. These people were hoarders. They just collect cans. What? Look at all this stuff. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that, but, I mean, hey, do what you want, but look at all this stuff. All these old cans down here, bunch of beer cans. There was a, there were a core drinker, Coors Light. They must have liked that shit. Dude, that was that was scary. That was intense, right? I know. <laughs> that could have been me. Although, like, I would. I've never Urbexers are me. bulletproof. Okay. What's that? Urbexers are bulletproof. Yeah, Urbexers are bulletproof. For sure. <laughs> but 
Most days. That is scary. This is why you have to be very careful at all times. Like those steps, they look pretty solid. Yeah. Imagine if it was like something higher. I know. You know? That's creepy. Fell right through. Wasn't expecting it either. So, I find this very surreal. To be digging up notes from the past. Almost like a time capsule with everything left inside. Like a museum. I tried researching the house and didn't have any luck. But I can see why. Because a barrage of trees and forests surrounds it. And I'm guessing over time, the house was completely forgotten about and buried by Mother Nature. I honestly think the neighbors don't know about this house, or haven't even seen this place before. How could you? Because the house is buried in vines and bushes. I guess what I've learned from this experience is, live every day like it's your last, because you never know what tomorrow brings, and cherish every moment with your loved ones, because one day they may not be here. I want to thank you for sticking around to the end of this episode. Thank you so much. <laughs>